Now, you want to establish some sort of control, some grips to make harder for my opponent to pass. So with those grips, with those controls, I can play my guard, I can recover easily. He has to break my controls in order to pass. If you can choose, let's say your guard, you, you have no guard, your guard sucks, right? It's horrible. So I would recommend you start with double sleep control, okay? And then we're gonna see later what to do with that double sleep control. We're gonna throw a lasso there. So as he approaches me here, trying to control my legs, I'm gonna control double sleep. Why the double sleep control is good? Because even if I cannot play any guard right now, and he's already passing right now, it's hard for him to finish the pass because he cannot control my head as long as I keep controlling both his lips. So as he passes, I just shove his hand towards his hips. Okay? Now, what he's gonna do? He's gonna either stay here or he's gonna try to let go of my pants and go to my head. So just keep shoving my hands down and I just turn around. I right? sit up back again. So what I want to do here is control double sleeve and I'm going to stiff my arms having the, my knuckles here against his wrist. Right? So I have maximum reach here driving his hands towards his hips. Right? I don't want to have my hands slipping out here so his arm is in front of my arm. He might break this grip. So make sure I get a nice double sleeve. I turn my knuckles against his wrist. As he passes, I stiff my arm, lock on my elbows here. And basically, I want to drive his hands towards his hips. Almost like the guy has his hands tied up on his belt. Right, so go down there, Axel, please. If I have my hands tied up on my belt, how am I going to pass? I can drop weight on him, yes, but you know, I can't, I can't really establish. I can't establish side control. Maybe I can get around his legs, but if my hands are close to my belt, close to my hip, I won't be able to control his head, I won't be able to establish uh, chest on chest, right? So that's the idea. He's standing, or maybe even from his knees, it doesn't matter, right? I control double sleeve here. Before I start playing my guard, he's already controlling my legs and passing. Right? That's, I show this, I stiff my arms. I, dry, I try to drive his hands towards his hips, even if it doesn't go towards his hips, I aim towards his hips, right? So his hands are then closed as I'm moving away and hipscaping. Sometimes from here, I can just sit up. If he puts more weight on me, I might have to go back down, get up, right? Maybe I can buy with an arm drag already. But just trust on the double sleep control. If you have that, he can't pass, right? He cannot control you. Maybe he can pass, but he cannot establish side control. And you have time to escape. Now look at the difference. As he passes, I have my double sleeve already. If he passes and I try now to let go and frame and push the guy, he might establish side control easier because I just let go of his arms. He can move his arms, right? So if you have a double sleeve, maintain the double sleeve until you're able to recover. If you let go, it's a risk, right? He might pass your guy, control your head, and now you have to escape side control. Plus, Double sleeve. I can go basically to all guards. I can go spider. I can go the Riva, double sleeve control. I can go lasso, lasso spider, right? It's very, very safe. If you maintain those two sleeves under control, he cannot pass, right? So start with that. If your guard sucks, get the double sleeve control. If it passes, you recover your guard until eventually you start throwing your legs into the party tube and start developing a good guard.